Does crime require an injured party? That's what one driver claims after being pulled over by a police officer. In this video, we'll learn why she might think that and whether or not she's right. Stick around. We start with a simple traffic stop. The driver asks what crime she has been suspected of committing and is told that she has no brake lights. But not to worry officer, she doesn't need them since lack of brake lights doesn't create an injured party and therefore no crime has been committed. Since no crime has been committed, she doesn't have to provide a driver's license. Why would she think this? It all becomes clear when she asks for the corpus delecti. Now, many sovereign citizens believe that corpus delecti is a fancy Latin term for Crime needs an injured party, and most of them get that after reading the definition from Black's Law Dictionary, which is basically a dictionary containing definitions that were established by legal cases, documents, or other similar materials. However, a word of caution, it isn't the end-all, be-all of source of definitions, since the definitions of the words are also dependent on the context of the case they were defined in. I don't know which version of Black's Law Dictionary she's using, but I'm going to assume it's the second edition, which is available for free online. It's important to note that this edition was published in 1910 and is no longer considered terribly accurate. However, since it's easily available, it's the one most commonly used by sovereign citizens. When we look up corpus delecti, we see the body of a crime, the body material substance upon which a crime has been committed, e.g. the corpse of a murdered man, the charred remains of a house burned down, in a derivative sense, the substance or foundation of a crime the substantial fact that a crime has been committed. A lot of people misread this and think, uh, crime requires corpus delecti, which is generally true. And this definition requires the body upon which a crime has been committed. That means there has to be a victim. No, it means that to convict someone, there has to be evidence of a crime. It doesn't require a person and it doesn't require physical injury. In fact, in many cases without a physical victim, criminal acts are considered a crime against society and therefore the government becomes the victim. And there you have it. Crime does not require an injured party, at least not based on the corpus selecti argument, and as far as I know, not based on any other argument. If you want to see the outcome of this traffic stop, check out part two, where I discuss whether or not traffic infractions are not crimes. Until the next time, be good, stay safe.